don't put your hand on me what like you don't do that you don't do that i can have a skin eating flesh eating disease sir you just got it On the previous vlog with Peyton. Home oh, sweet home. It's hot in here. Oh my god. Anime. Day after day. Seems like I lose the peace of love. It is hot in here. I came home. Anime is dead. You didn't tell me that. Yeah, I came. I came. Is that right, right? Yes, that's anime. Oh, fuck. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> anime. That's what I said. Mama about to go lay down. <laughs> he talking about when he take people uh, food too quick. Yeah, I've um, had my fingers cut off before. <laughs> you play all day. <laughs> It's nine Pisces. It's ten. It's ten Virgos, nine Pisces, and eight Gemini's on the serial killer. Why do you know that? His eyes. His own. We're gonna have a family tomorrow. His own. The sparrow. All right, you guys, I hope you guys are all caught up on the vlog. So let's see what's going on in today's video. Hey, guy. Hey, girl. So welcome back to another daily vlog. This is the season finale of Mayhem. You guys know I have been putting everything into doing this rooftop deck. So I'm giving you guys the reveal in today's video. And that is basically the season finale of Mayhem. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I do want to thank Outer for sponsoring today's video. So if you guys did not know, Outer basically has reimagined outdoor furniture and the way we live outside from the ground up. Outer creates durable and eco-conscious outdoor furniture that makes you like love being outside. I absolutely adore my sectional. So I like broke it apart. It's a seven seater uh, sectional but you can break it apart and design it how you want. I knew that I would typically want to do that because I like feng shuiing my space. You know what I'm saying? So my rooftop looks like this today, but it may look like something else in the next two months. I absolutely love that I can just like break it apart. I can put it together. I can make different sectionals. So how I did it, I wanted to basically be able to change it around whenever I want because I wanted to be able to like feng shui it when I want because I get tired of looking at the same thing over and over so even though it's a sectional I broke it apart and so you have this four seater sectional here that's like a long couch and then here is the love seat and on this side it's just a chair so it's a nice conversational environment here on the rooftop you get a lot of wind I have an umbrella up here I have the fire pit we have a lot of table space to like set food down and drinks and things like that so it's very open it's nice I have a you know water fountain back here to just give like a nice a nice vibe if you will so I'm going to show you guys how I put everything together. You probably have seen me piece things together watching the vlogs because this this mayhem has been all about like decorating my house and my rooftop. So I'm gonna show you guys how I pieced everything together and put everything together where I got everything from. So if you're interested in hearing more, definitely continue to watch. So we getting ready to go to at home. I'm probably going to end up buying more shit. If you are not all caught up, baby, go and watch from day one. Day one is, um, I think when I'm crying, when the, the 100, I guess my 100,000 plaque, start from there, then come back to this video. Now, you can go ahead and watch this video, but then go back and start from there or whatever.
because child the way my house looks don't let the living room fool you the way my house looks it's giving very much mayhem was mayhem okay um I need to clean up I need to do I need to fold laundry I need to tend to my home Woo! vlogging every day is very much a job okay but I really really enjoyed it I hope that you guys did too um, we got one more day left um, I'm headed to the at home store because the thunderstorm last week broke my freaking umbrella child i'm talking about bend it completely it's broken i'll show it to y'all once i put it in the basket so i'm about to take it back and get another one and while i'm at home i might as well um at the home store i might as well get some more decor for like the front house um there's also this little freaking bin that i want to buy for deliveries to put because I saw uh, everything Erin talking about it and she said that a lot of her packages has has gotten stolen so she has this bin um, for delivery companies to put her stuff in and, and she can lock it and get it you know what I'm saying when she's away because while I was in New York somebody stole my Fashion Nova package and it was a lot of cute stuff in there that I had got for my upcoming vacation so i gotta reorder that stuff fashion over is not gonna reimburse me they don't want to have anything to do with my packages getting stolen like like they're not liable for it which i totally understand but at the same time if you tell me that it's gonna be there wednesday when i'm when i'm there wednesday and the delivery company doesn't deliver it until the next day when i'm gone i'm not liable for it either you know what i'm saying i can't just ask people to stop what they're doing and go over to my house and pick up a package when you're telling me this is when it's supposed to arrive you know what i'm saying like i hate that and i have told my fedex driver over and over and over again stop leaving it at my gate stop leaving my stuff at my gate it's like he just throws it over the gate and keeps on walking no you need to put it put it where people can't see it. and i've told him that like oh so yeah i'm thinking about getting that bin it's just i need to research it a little more because it's like if a, one delivery company put something in it and it's locked how will another delivery company be able to put something in it like if i'm gone and i'm getting packages once someone puts something in it it's gonna be locked you're not gonna be able to open it so i mean i, I just gotta look it up look into it more because i don't want to waste my money on it if i'm not gonna use it most times i'm at home and this is my, the first time well the second time my package has gotten stolen the first time my package got stolen i was at home i was upstairs in the office i just didn't go right down and get my package so like within 30 minutes this hungry motherfucker stole my hello fresh so yeah it's kind of mm, i ain't gonna say that but yeah baby when i tell you i was doing that ring oh this way which way this way looking you know what i'm saying because you could turn the the camera on your ring i was like literally in new york in my room just staring at the screen waiting on somebody to go past my house zooming in trying to get a good picture of them like i i feel like it's one of my neighbors honestly i can't wait to see the bitch with my clothes on because i i know what i ordered i remember what i ordered and you hoes ain't got no motherfucking style so if i see you with my shit on bitches up and it's stuck That, that was like a hundred and fifty dollar order i had got a whole bunch of them cute little slinky dresses that i be wearing around the house i had got a whole bunch of those like they was like 10 15 dollars like them you know what i'm saying the oh the dress they like that white dress that i had on when i went to cabo with the head given i had about a whole bunch of those in different colors you know what i'm saying to wear around the house vacation doo -doo -doo -doo, you know what i'm saying doo -doo -doo -doo, like that they stole my bag, bitch. I'm mad about that. I gotta reorder all that stuff. I mean, it wasn't nothing. It wasn't that much, but it's the principle. Don't steal my shit. I ooh, you better not. Ooh, I better not catch her walking down the street. I tell you, I better not catch her walking down the street in my stuff. 
she's getting got. But anyway, let's go to at home. Because at home, when I go home shopping, it always put me in a good mood. Always. Cause you know I just I just love to decorate my house. Who would have thought? Who would have known? Ever since that girl told me that my um apartment decor from my old apartment. Y'all remember when I had that old brown furniture? I link it right here, so y'all can go look at my old apartment tour. I was so proud of my apartment, but yeah, one of the viewers commented and said that my apartment decor didn't match my swag. And I've been dibbling, dabbling in interior de decor and decorate ever since, child. Like, it's a thing for me. I, I really enjoy it and I really like it. So, you know, we making our house a home and, we, and whatnot, whatnot. And my umbrella broke, so I have a reason to go back to at home store. Plus, I want to get some l little trees to put in front of my home as decoration, like right there in front of the front door. Also, anime has uh, passed, you guys. May she rest in peace. So, um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this soil. Because I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to get another plant. I think while I'm here at the at home store, I might just go ahead and buy another fake plant. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. I don't know. Because I feel some type of way. Like, I'm really taking this hard. I feel like a failure. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to get another real plant. I wasn't really liking all of the gnats in my house from the soil. And, you know, it really, it, it was nice to have something to, you know, something else living in the home that I had to take care of. But, child, coming home after that New York trip and seeing her day that was very shocking to me like it was it was shocking and traumatizing i don't know if y'all could tell honey but i was about to break out in tears i don't want to be crying all the time on my channel so i was really trying to hold back but that hurt me it did y'all before I go up in this store and spend money I saw this dude last night that tried to talk to me do y'all remember when I went out with Kia and Jasmine and I had on that little bodysuit I had like here this color and I had on that bodysuit it looked like a full body tattoo it was so cute we red shoes by the way I went out that night and it was this dude that was trying to talk to me and he was just like he was too matchy. I don't like that. Like, it was just, it was given he can't dress, right? So, but he was, he was, he was dressed nice. He was, it was just too matchy. It was just too mat, not matchy. It's not what I'm used to. You can tell he went from Memphis. I don't, I can't remember where he was from. Anyway, he was giving me Eddie Murphy boomerang in the face. Like, it was something about him. He was cute, but he wasn't my type. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's getting a little hot in here. So, he was like all in my face. I ended up giving him my number because, you know, sometimes it's, you can't reject every man and try to talk to you. They don't know how to take it. So, I ended up giving him my number. We talked for a little bit. I don't really remember what happened after that, but it just was not for me. Um, I think it was like he was extremely arrogant. I think that's what it was. He was extremely arrogant. I can't really remember but anyway I seen him last night and as I'm walking out me and Marcy was getting ready to leave out because uh, it was like I don't know clutch has gotten very young baby they ain't in there for us it's gotten very young in clutch and I was just ready to go it wasn't it wasn't my vibe you know what I'm saying so we were getting ready to walk out and he sees me and he like touches my my um shoulder so I look back and he was like you remember me and I was like no I did kind of remember him but it was very dark 
it was very dark in, like where we were standing so i really couldn't see um and so i was like no and i get i started to walk off and he grabs my arm like grabs my nigga if you don't let me go it's nine pisces on the serial killer list it's nine So he was like, don't do me like that. Don't do, nah, nigga, don't put your hand on me. What? Like, you don't do that. You don't do that. I can have a skin-eating, flesh-eating disease, sir. You just got it. Now you got it. Tag. You're it. But I can't remember why I stopped talking to him. I think I think we had a phone conversation and his and his conversation just disgusted me. I just, I can't deal with someone that is that arrogant like i just can't like i'm all about self-love and loving yourself baby do what you will but when you start talking like you better than everybody i no uh-uh uh-uh because i know how this goes i know how this goes men are really good at chasing you in the beginning and being all persistent in the beginning and it's so as you let your guard down and start liking them they show their ass and i ain't got time to be dealing with somebody like you doing it to me so this is what the wind did y'all see that i'm talking about bent the whole bar child look at it the wind did that that's crazy so we finna take this back and get us a new one I thought that this was, oh shit. All right. So we about to take this one back in here and get us another one. Hopefully they have another blue one. If not, then we might have to get gray, which I really don't want to do. But this what I'm wearing today. It's just this little cute Fashion Nova jumpsuit that says back off back up back up back up it says it says back off we should say it fuck off honestly but it says back off and i just got on my mcqueen sneakers i'm cute i'm real cute i'm real cute Oh. All right, let's. Oh, that smells so good, y'all. I got on uh, how fitted today. I just sprayed it on my arms. Did you know it put me in a good mood and stuff? All right, let's do some damage in this bitch. Yeah. Let me tell you what happened. Excuse me, you gon' you wanna get hit by the basket? You gotta, you gotta move over. Yeah. Take the magnet off. I, I, I hope you hold it up. All right. All right. Yeah. You see? Yeah. The thunderstorm did this. Oh. Um, uh, hey, it broke my umbrella. You know what? Uh, what we can do for weather damages? We don't do nothing, and we can't return it that way. Because once it's in our, if it's something done by the manufacturer, then yes, but that's something that is not returnable. Because that does not mean anybody can break something and return it. So. Mm -hmm. You the manager. Mm -hmm. I ain't even gonna lie, I got an attitude. I got an attitude, they wrong for it. So, I bought another umbrella 
and if you think I'm not gonna take it back to a different at home the only reason why they want to take it back is because the bent part was sticking out so I'm just gonna take that part out take it back to another at home and what about it and how you a manager and not wearing it proudly like you just walking around with your with Vanessa no manager on it like when I'm a manager I need my manager sticker I need my manager nameplate pin I even want a manager parking spot. I'm like, ma'am, you don't look like a manager. And where they do that at? Like, regardless, I have 30 days to bring it back. At home, I'm mad about that. Y'all don't have, like, no type of manufacturer, like, wait a minute now. What's going on with, and this motherfucker right here is missing pieces out of the thing. The other one like this? Uh-uh, I don't like this. I'm gonna take it back in. Alright guys, so when I found out that I would be getting this sectional, I decided to go ahead and order a rug off of Wayfair. Unfortunately, it was a different shade of blue. The shade of blue in the sectional that I got is this outdoor sectional that's six seater and it's in the shade deep sea navy. So you can basically make this one entire whole sectional or, and mine is actually a seven seater, it's not a six seater, but um, as you can see, it comes with the covers and you can make it a different you know design as you want you know i actually made myself like a one four seater sectional with the love seat and then the one armless chair and i absolutely love how it actually came out but i love that i can change it up whenever i decide okay i'm tired of my rooftop being in this design i can switch it up and change it around so I actually looked up and found this rug at home and it was a uh, 119 it was actually cheaper than the rug that I bought off of Wayfair and it matches to the absolute T this is a beautiful rug and it also matches the design in my bedroom so now me and my friend juice were just playing around and trying to see how we were going to design the actual sectional what I love about Outer is Outer is sustainable. Their all weather wicker frame is made from recycled plastic bottles. They plant loads of trees to fight deforestation. They're climate neutral certified and every product is fully recyclable. How amazing is that? And finally, Outer is risk free. If you don't love your Outer sofa, they offer free return shipping and 100% money back guarantee within 14 days of delivery. But mine is staying put right here on my rooftop. Okay, so then I decided to put up some string lights. So I didn't want it to give a Christmas vibe, but I wanted it to be super sexy. These I got from at home. They were $24.99 and I think you get about 25 or 30 bulbs and they're pretty big bulbs. It gives a nice lighting and vibe. So it's not too much. It doesn't give Christmas. And yeah, they were super easy to install. Okay, so after I put up the lights, this is what the rooftop was basically looking like. And I just felt like it was incomplete. I know that I'm practicing minimalism, but not for the rooftop. I just felt like it needed more. It needed an umbrella. It needed a water fountain. It needed a fire pit. So I got some more things before I decided to do the reveal. And this fire pit I actually got from Wayfair. It was super affordable. And I think that this was the best looking one that I could find on the site that just really complemented my outdoor space in my outer front furniture because this is gray with like specks of blue in the paint like I couldn't have picked a better fire pit honestly it was super easy to put together I do wish though that I would have put it together put it together and installed it before I put the glass on it because it comes with lava rocks right but I had already installed the glass so I'm gonna have to like remove the glass and then install it yeah I should have thought this through but yeah it was super easy to put together I still have not connected the gas i'm a little scared but yeah it went perfect with the decor and the outer sectional 
I also got this blue fire glass from Wayfair as well. It comes in a bag of 25 pounds of blue fire glass for $50. Now you can get this for cheaper at home. I think they have the same amount for $30. And I read the reviews and everybody was saying that you needed two bags. So I bought two bags, but honestly, you only need one. And honestly, it, it really is absolutely beautiful. It does add a touch of class to the fire pit instead of using the lava rocks then like I said the rooftop gets a lot of sunlight in the daytime and also wind so I decided to get this solar umbrella it has solar lights underneath and so I put that together I also got a water hose just to make sure that I can like keep the deck nice and clean because it honestly gets really dirty but at the same time I needed water to be able to put in this umbrella base because that's how it's gonna stay steady and honestly I really feel like I shouldn't have got the umbrella because it's so windy on the rooftop you guys the umbrella like moves a lot it's kind of scary so I don't really like to put it up in the daytime I feel like I like it more at night but I mean who needs an umbrella at night you know what I'm saying when it's not even raining but when it, on a windy day it's not really efficient to use it but when it's low wind it's really nice least I also picked up this fountain from at home as well this was about $149 super super easy to install it comes with everything you need all you have to do is plug up the water adapter and fill it with water and turn it on and plug it up I decided that it looked a little bland without the rocks so I bought these rocks from Lowe's and I just placed them around just to give it a little bit more flavor and this is the final reveal of my rooftop transformation if you guys remember how it looked when I first moved in I think that this is a definitely step up um, it extends from my bedroom decor because my bedroom is navy blue with the geometric rug design um, and I just wanted to keep the theme of blue on the third floor all of the rest of the house is basically neutral but it's color in my room and I just feel like it goes well with me and my personality all right guys so if you're looking to live better look no further than outer outer is an amazing brand plus they give back to the environment be sure to click the link in the description box if you guys want to check out outer i highly recommend them all you have to do is go to go.liveouter.com backslash payton to get 200 off your first purchase and free shipping make sure that you use that link so they'll know that I sent you okay and thanks to Outer for sponsoring today's video and sending over this amazing rooftop deck furniture I couldn't have done it without them I'm on top of shit And you would never know a guy without the goddesses